been a part of this video and hello to you guys and thank you for being a part of the Spanish community and today's video is a little bit different because we don't have a student of ours but we have a TikToker and YouTuber from Colombia who lives in Poland full time and he's gonna share his experience about his life in Poland with us today. Yeah, so thank you for for coming here mm -hmm. because you're not based in Warsaw. Yes, I'm not based in Warsaw. I live in Lublin, but it's my pleasure to be here and to share my experience with all of you. Yeah. Yeah, thank you so much for making it to the capital today. And could you please tell us a little bit about yourself? Okay, so my name is Juan. Uh, as you said, I'm from Colombia. I have been living in Poland for two years now, and, and I'm really happy here. It was like one of my best decisions that I made in my life to, to move out from my country and to live now in Europe, in Poland. And why Poland? Like, from Colombia to Poland, far away? You know, it's a, it's a funny story. Everything started like two years ago. I went to the United States. Do you know like these um, like exchange things that you go to work in the United States for work like a travel. summer? Yeah, work and travel, mm -hmm. summer camp. Yeah. Uh, I met like a lot of Polish people. Yeah, and, and I always wanted to study abroad. Of course, I, I, I couldn't afford to live in the United States. So they were like telling, hey, you know, Poland is a good option. <laughs> and I started to do my own research. I did it everything by my own and I found out that Poland is, is affordable. Yeah, it's, it, it's possible to study in Europe. So. Yeah, it's not the US because I know like, I used to live in the US for some time and it's like crazy expensive. It's like you add a zero to all the prices. To all the Poland, prices. Mm -hmm. no kidding, yeah. It's very expensive. And uh, do you study it here or do you work in Poland or do you do? Okay, so yeah, I do so many things. So first of all, I came here just to study. Mm -hmm. I study in Lublin, and, but I wanted to, to have a job. I wanted to, to make some money, so, but I didn't have the TRC. I got it last year and now I'm working as well. Mm -hmm. I have a full-time job like an IT company. Mm -hmm. And as, as you said, I also like make TikTok, so, so you know. I mean, I have a busy life, but I like it, I like it. That's awesome, and also we're gonna li uh, link your TikTok and YouTube as well. Yeah, I, I, I don't mostly make, TikTok. I mostly TikTok. Yeah, I mean. I've heard, I've seen some, yeah, I've seen, we have seen some actually. But you know what, the reason is because a YouTube video, it's like more time, it takes more time to, to make a YouTube yeah. video, like to edit a video, five, six minutes. A TikTok, you know, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, and it's easier. Yeah, for some people it's easy, for some not. If you're like, if you're like funny naturally, yeah. if you like have like some idea naturally, and like, yeah, if it comes to you naturally, then it's quick, but if you don't know what you're yeah. doing, then it's probably like, that, that's, it can take a while. That's the thing, yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna link your TikTok for sure, and maybe like some of our students would wanna see like, Life in Poland. Life in Poland. Like Colombian perspective, you know. And uh, the next question I'm gonna have is, uh, how can you compare life in Colombia and in Poland? And it must be so different. Oh yeah, the culture is is so different. How different it is? I've never been to Colombia. Um, I would say advantages of living here is that people um, have better education. Like more people here speak English which opens the opportunities of, of everything, like for jobs, for... In Colombia, we only speak Spanish. We're a country that, that we know English, but not that well. We are afraid to speak English here too, but you have the knowledge already. So, yeah. so people are not afraid to speak uh, English and that makes it easier to have a better relation between a foreigner mm -hmm. and a Polish person. Yeah, but in Col I think like Spanish is also like so useful, like such a useful language to know because like, you speak Spanish in all Southern America, well, except for Brazil, yeah. right? Because in Brazil they speak Portuguese, and here in Spain. So you can speak Spanish in a lot of countries, but also it's like really useful to know English, obviously. Yeah, I, I would say that people here, I mean, all Europe, I would say they like Spanish. They know that we speak Spanish in all South America, in Spain. Now in the US, like if you go to Florida, like so many people yeah, speak Spanish. Yeah, well. Yeah. Yeah, I started actually learning Spanish when I lived in the US. So yeah, everyone likes Spanish. I, I want to speak Spanish as well. So I'm so jealous you speak Spanish. Yeah. yeah, I would say it's a language I would recommend. You know, if someone else learns like German or French, it's useful, it's good. Yeah. But like the amount of people that speak Spanish yeah. is like crazy. crazy. It's, it's a beautiful language. It really is a beautiful mm -hmm. language. 
is. It is, yes. And it's like, I don't think it's that difficult to learn. You just have to sit down and focus. You yeah, know? not difficult as, as Polish. <laughs> yeah, yeah and oh, about that, do you know any Polish uh, words so far? Yeah, I, I speak a bit of Polish. You do? I and do. Can you say something? Um, uh, mam name Juan. Um, me llamo, me llamo. Uh, uh, Yeah. Mam name Juan, tak. Si do you polse? Mieszkam w Polsce od dwa lata temu. Um, lubię tutaj. Um, mieszkam w Lublinie. Uh, yeah, that's that's really awesome. Mm -hmm. And uh, I really hope you learn even more Polish. You have you have a lot of time, right? You, I mean, you have maybe you stay here and you'll. Yeah. No, I, I I'm happy about like learning Polish. I think if you learn Polish, you get like closer to the culture. You learn yeah. more. You understand more things. Yeah, I, I, really, I really think so as well and I really think it's really good to try because like when Polish people see that you're a foreigner but you're trying to learn their language, they really appreciate yeah. it, you know, it's like, because like some people they have this kind of like attitude that like I came here but I speak English, I don't speak Polish, you know, but I mean, everyone can make their own choices but I just think it's really nice that you're trying, you mm -hmm. know, people would really appreciate it. And like when you move to a country and you want to like learn about the culture, about the people and language, traditions, just like, I don't know, you get a perspective in your new life you never, you never experienced before. Yeah. And um, how else Poland is different from Colombia? Like, do you feel safer here? Oh, I would say like life here is really safe. I can use my phone on the street and I don't have to worry about anything. Wait, I wouldn't recommend if you are in South America. If you are in South America, I wouldn't recommend to have your, your phone on the street. Like, you cannot like, text? No, 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 or answer the phone. Like, what we do, like, we, we have this sixth sense. So if we get a call from someone, we go like to a store, a shop, and we answer the call or we answer the text message. But here, I feel like totally safe. I can, I can do that. I feel like if I go to Colombia, I feel like I'm not Colombian anymore. I, I'm a foreigner, right? so I just have to be careful again if I go to Colombia. Yeah, but I thought it's more dangerous, like it's rather dangerous for tourists, not for Colombia, like for example, not for native uh, people, um, locals. It's not dangerous for us because we know what we have to do and we, yeah. we cannot do. So, but the tourists, you know, they go with expensive things, they show off all what they have. So, of course, uh, the thieves, wow. they seem like, a, like who they can steal. Wow, that's, that's crazy. But yeah, Poland, it's literally one of the safest countries in Europe. You also, well, pretty safe are Norway, Sweden, Denmark, like yeah. Scandinavia and Poland. Like when you go more to the west, it becomes like more dangerous. Like even neighboring Germany, I don't feel as safe. Mm -hmm. in Germany and like France and Belgium and Italy, I don't feel as safe, I would say. But in Poland, I can walk by myself at night and yeah. I feel fine. Yeah. I never, I I never saw a different life, honestly, because I lived like in three different countries, but all of them were like really safe. So I don't, I don't know. I never seen a different life. I guess I'm just lucky. No. Well, also, the transport, the the, pu the public transport uh, here is really good. You have an app. You can buy tickets through the app, or sometimes yeah. it's 24 hours. Yeah. And um, in Colombia, like the the last bus would be depending on the city, like could be at 8, 9 p.m., 10 p.m., and then you have to take like a taxi or something, which is also expensive. Mm -hmm. You know the salary is also low, mm -hmm. so so I would say that's also like a difference between yeah. these two countries. But it's still, like South America is so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Yeah, we have things that also like that Poland doesn't have, and yeah, the nature. The nature. Oh my gosh! And the last topic I want to discuss today is about your TikTok because okay. the reason we invited you here is your TikTok. And uh, can you tell us like? What, what kinds of videos you have there, what people are enjoying watching, like which ones have like a lot of views, etc. Okay, so, so my experience from TikTok, I started one year ago. Mm, and I started to go by a like, couple months after that and I started to realize like what people want to watch, what people like. And first of all, I started like, uh, as you said, like showing the people the differences between Colombia and Poland. Of course, then you don't have like any other topic. So you don't have like any other like ideas to make a video, right? So then I started to show people uh, how I try to speak Polish. People like it a lot. And yes, and I remember uh, the video that, that made me viral and that's why I have a lot of followers. It was a Polish lesson. So I recorded one lesson that I had from my university. 
and I like I did it and I posted on TikTok. People love it. I got two million views. How much? Two million. Two million. Two million views. views. Can you imagine? Two million views and forty thousand followers. Uh, you know, after that, people wanted to see more and more. I had a problem with my university because they didn't want to allow me. But it was okay. Then a Polish teacher contacted me on TikTok and she said, you know what, we can make content together. So we started doing that. And it's like a almost 60 year old lady. Like, let's have, let's do TikTok. Hey, let's make a TikTok, yeah. She has like her own. Like I can dance with you. Yeah. After that, you know, when you have like certain amount of followers, you can talk more about yourself and people are more interested about yeah. you, right? So, so now like I, I make videos about, about me, about the uh, trends that uh, TikTok has. Uh, I speak Polish as well, you know, so <laughs> I, I don't dance, <laughs> I don't dance, but, dance okay. but maybe one day, <laughs> maybe one day, yeah. You said you have 40,000? Now you have 300,000. That's a lot. Yeah, three hundred thousand. It's like a whole, more than a whole Lublin. It's like yeah, like whole Lublin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's crazy, it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. We'll, we'll look, I, as I said, we're gonna link it down below. Maybe you're gonna have like way more, twice as much. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully. Uh, and what what else do you show on TikTok? Do you show like oh shoot, did you show Polish food? Oh yeah. Uh, I remember those was like my first videos. Trying, trying uh, Judek, trying also like Polish food. I, I tried that and also people like it, right? So, so yeah, I tried Polish food. I, yeah, I, I did all of that. I did all of that. That's awesome. Yeah, I should, uh, I should take some time and watch all of them, you know, from the beginning. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there's a lot of videos, yeah. So. Yeah, uh, videos, you say in Spanish? Video yeah, videos, 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 yeah. Videos, videos, okay. Well, videos in Spanish, yeah. I was, I was involved. And what are your plans for the future? Okay, so my so my plans for the future. I finish my bachelor next year. Um, I would like to to move out to another city. Poland has really nice cities. Uh, what I would recommend for people is Warsaw and Wrocław. Mm -hmm. Those two are my favorite cities. Yeah. So I would like to study my 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 master in in Wrocław or Warsaw. I, I would have like more opportunities. So I, I want to do it. So. So next year that I will finish my studies, I, I will probably do it. Oh, that's awesome. And maybe, uh, yeah, if you come to study in Warsaw, maybe you can meet some more TikToker here, TikTokers here. You, I, I do know some as well. You know yeah. what? Like, when you start, you don't know like any Polish TikToker, but when you start to grow, like TikTok show you who follows you back, right? So I start to get to know like really famous like TikTokers, like that have like million and, and it's Polish TikTokers, yeah. Uh -huh. Uh, and it's crazy because you have some connection, you like then some collaboration. So it's, you learn a lot about about like Poland. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, let's see what life brings you in a year. Yeah. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm better at come and get your autograph. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, Spanish, Spanish, like hola, gracias, you know. Yeah. Yeah, that's well, good luck. Good luck in your studies, good luck in your career and in your TikTok. Yeah, just. Um, and uh, yeah, thank you so much for taking your time to come here today and thank you for sharing your experience with us. Um, as I said, you guys, I'm gonna link TikTok down below. So if you wanna see the videos which 2 million people like, you know, just make sure to watch them. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for being a part of our community. And uh, let me just add that both of us are vaccinated so we don't have to worry about Corona today. And uh, if you have any questions about living and studying in Poland or if you want to start your new life in here, just make sure you contact us via WhatsApp or email or go to our website and perhaps we can help you find 